Hey there, welcome back to another episode. In this one, we are looking at THCB stock. This is also known as Tuscan Holding Stock. And the big news from last week was that the stock is apparently going to merge with Microvest. So, of course, that was a big driver for the company. Of course, if you don't know, Microvest is a electric vehicle power solutions provider. So, we did do a full, you know, update on that video. But, of course, tonight is just our quick look, seeing where the stock price has gone since then. And then I'm going to be giving my opinions on whether I would buy on not so if that sounds like a good quick episode please do leave that like and subscribe we are trying to get to a hundred thousand it's a very ambitious goal but i do believe that we can do it with your help so please do subscribe also come and join us on discord i would love to see you there yeah let's get straight into this episode then and so if we have a quick look on screen, we can see a lot of drive in the stock price. It went up about 25 plus percent in, you know, just over a week. So not bad at all for the shares price. But I did say at this point, it was getting to the point where it's not going to stay growing like this forever. And that is not necessarily a bad thing because, of course, once that news did come out, there's not really too much of a driving factor until we get closer to the merger date. And of course, closer to the merger being voted on, there's not really too much uh, news and things like that to drive the stock price price upwards so i think that now we are looking in more of a reasonable price range and i would definitely say if we are looking to buy in we want to do it in a dip like this i'm saying it could still go lower but even if it does or even if it doesn't we are getting more to a range where i would be comfortable buying this one because looking up up here you know i said it was probably going to do a drop it did quite a significant drop i think at this point we did start to see a bit of recovery and I think we are still seeing recovery to this day, but I would say it is potentially a good point to buy in. I can see it growing further, even further than the, than the highs that we saw earlier, but I think it will take a lot more time, and I think it's going to be a lot more volatile than just a straight ride up. Of course, this is not sustainable, we all know it, but when it comes to, you know, a slower growth with a bit of correction like what we saw already, you know, if you'd have been holding the stock, for example, since uh, the 18th of November, you would still be up quite massively, about uh, 13%, which is decent, to be honest, so you're just got to remember what you're dealing with with a company like this this is probably going to be quite volatile leading up to the merger but i do think that now is still not a bad price to buy in at all at my opinion i think it's a lot better than what we were seeing last week but i would you know still keep it a little bit cautious in my opinion but i do think we are looking more into the range i think we could see it start to go back up in the next few days but we'll just have to see what happens so of course feel free to come and tell us your opinions over on discord i would love to see you there until then goodbye